hours, hostage negotiator Danny Roman risked his own life. Disarming the hostage taker. In a perfect world, that would be enough. No search for us hold it. But in this department, you know me. I can't set up. An honest cop is an easy target. Now, to clear his name, he's taken the police hostage. I'm not going to jail today. And demanding his own negotiator. I don't want to talk to anyone else but Chris Sandy. Now, we can say no. Never say no to a hostage taker. It's in the manual. Go ahead, Danny. Academy Award nominee Samuel L. Jackson. I know the rules of engagement, so don't. Academy Award winner Kevin Spacey. Relax. I'll call back. I'm on the way up. I know you don't think I'm innocent, so don't tell me I want to do everything I can to get out of here. You want something from me? I still have hostages. What was that a threat? Did you just threaten me? Chief, they have a shot. We can end it right here. Why should I get in there with you? Let me believe why I should deal with you ever again. I want you dead. I'm going in. Full breach. Sending you to one. Shut up, Now, if they can trust each other, you were wrong about me. Two men trained in the art of negotiation. We're surrounded by a room of people who want to go in there and chill them. Dead body in the water. We fished it out. The victim's name is Cheryl Putnam. The body was dumped up river late last night. Whoever killed her hung on to her for a while before he mailed her. How do you know? I used to be a homicide detective. Detective Thomas Hardy. Tom Hardy? You're famous, man. Right? Infamous. Was once the most decorated officer on the Pittsburgh police force. You're a talented guy. You can be anything you want to be. I like my life just the way it is, Pop. Until he broke rank. Loyalty of all else except honor. And told the truth. It was a Pittsburgh cop that killed these girls. Just dance these guys. Now. I got you this job after they took your shield. River Rescue 9221. This is Bates. Party, please come in. Nice to one, guy. He's got a new assignment. And Shark. A new partner. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I never had a woman partner before. Neither have I. And a river full of dead bodies. We're in pursuit of a murder suspect, maybe armed and dangerous. This is not your case, you understand me? Let's call a murder here! They should have never put him in the water if they didn't want him to make waves. How many men upstairs? Let me rephrase that. Officer Hardy was not uh, out of control and dangerous. Put the bodies in the river so I'll find them, Nick. He wants me to find these girls. Bruce Willis. You just won't let go, will you? Hardy, behind you! Sarah Jessica Parker. Thank you. No, I should definitely be thanking you. You know, I just, I just thought of a way that I could probably thank you. Boy, you gotta be so careful in this life, Tommy. Very careful. Stop now! Striking distance.
You straight nightmare. Another man today. In the streets of LA. I could not be proud of my men. Every cop wants justice. There are two cop killers out there. We can get these guys. But how they get it. We dudes as monsters, man. Is what sets them apart. Show me. You expect me to leave my car in the hood, man? <laughs> It's on its way. This is our world! So let's take it! So what do they call you? Quicks, man. Quicks? <laughs> Not quick enough. Now, dog, come We're the police. We can do whatever the hell we want. So we're just gonna go in there and kill him? No, I'm gonna ask him some questions. Then we're gonna kill him. I am police officer two, Brian Taylor. This is my partner, Officer Zavala. I'm in my chonies. I know, dude. Come on, come on. I'm in my chonies. No, 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 no. Come on, man. We were basic patrol here at Newton. One of the toughest divisions in the LAPD. Take pride in what you do, you guys. Yes, sir. I got him. I got him. Try to run. Try to run. Pit him, man. Pit him. Pit him. Boom! You know, I see you guys out here being good little company, man. It's all fun and games. You get to run and jump and fight and shoot. I'm down with that. Watch your six. Everybody here is family. You know I love you, man. I would lay down my life for you, dude. Hey, partner, what's up? I want to have a daughter, man. That'd be so cool. Just don't let her date cops. She's not dating anyone. Okay. Ever. <laughs> 105 North Avenue, 52. Third Sanctuary 13, Roger. What are we looking for again? Dope money and guns. Hablas ingles o español? Good! You good, partner? I'm good. What? You got more bling than the old lady's wedding ring. That guy is into something. You're not a detective. Follow me into the house. Uh, oh my god. Be careful. You just tugged on the tail of a snake. It's gonna turn around and bite you back. You think I know we're rolling up on? Every day feel the heat in the city. Like the... Put your hands over your head. Get up. The cartels are operating here. They operate by a different set of rules. So why do they call you Big Evil? Because my evil's big. You're my brother. If anything happened to you, I would take care of your kids. Word is, we got a hit on y'all, man. Y'all been ringlit. We're cops. Everybody wants to kill us. Whoa, 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 whoa. 13 X-ray 13, suspect running on foot. Look at me. We're shooting our way out of here, bro. Okay. On three, dude. You're gonna empty your mag and run. One, two, three. In the city of New York, a crime is committed every eight seconds. But just across the river lies a quiet town called Garrison, New Jersey where New York's finest return home. The hero cop, unwilling to trust the system, jumps from the George Washington Bridge. Today, he is laid to rest here in the cemetery at Garrison, New Jersey. This what brings you to our fair city. I heard it was a way of life out here. Thought I'd check it out for myself. Where are we, uh, like the Amish now? It's a place where the sheriff wears the badge, but the cops own the town. My jurisdiction ends at the George Washington Bridge. But half the men I watch live beyond that bridge. When no one's watching, I'm watching. In fact, you're the sheriff of Copland. He always dreamed of becoming one of them. I'd like you to meet Sheriff Freddie Heffler. Freddie's a hell of a guy. Well, you should call me. But now, he has uncovered something that could force him to choose between protecting his idols and upholding the law. Babbage isn't dead, you know it, and I know it. Do you have any idea how connected he is? It's over. The case is closed. You butt head with these friends of ours? You're gonna come at them head on? I offered you a chance to be a cop, and you blew it! Being right is not a bulletproof vest, Freddy! What are you gonna do, Sheriff? You gonna arrest the whole town? Everybody's watching you, Freddy. 
Sylvester Stallone, Harvey Keitel, Ray Liotta, and Robert De Niro. Copland. In the next 24 hours, you will learn about the streets, about the choices that will force a dedicated cop over the edge, all in the name of good. In the next 24 hours, the only thing more dangerous than the line being crossed... Today's a training day, Officer Hoyt. Your chance to give you a little taste of reality. You think you can handle it? Is the cop who has crossed it. I will do anything you want me to do. Will you? Let's see. If I was a dealer, you'd be dead by night. <laughs> they build jails because of me. Judges have handed out over 15,000 man years of incarceration time based on my investigation. You got today and today only to show me who and what you're made of. You hear me? That's it. That's what I'm talking about. The first day on the job, you hit a $3 million seizure. Police officer! Get away from the girl! No, no, no. We're not racking up arrests today. You let him go. What more you want? I want justice. Is right? that I not mean, justice? That's street justice. What's wrong with street justice? Oh, what? Just let the animals wipe themselves out. God willing. You can't be like this. Open your eyes. Can't you see? Police, we got a search warrant. You ain't no police! I didn't sign up for this. You think I'm crazy, right? We communicate and talk to you. Say it. Say it. I think you're a rogue cop. Learned a lot of things on these streets, boy. Good things and bad things, too. There's some profoundly evil people walking the streets freely right now. I'm the police! King Kong ain't got nothing on me! <laughs> you never know. When I was your age, they would say we could become cops or criminals. What I'm saying is this. When you're facing a loaded gun, what's the difference? This is not the regular police. This is the state police. We are an elite unit. This is who we're after. Frank Costello. You won't be paid as a regular cop, but there's a bonus involved. So what do I do? You will not ever know the identity of undercover people. You have anyone in with Costello presently? Maybe. Do you know who I am? Maybe not. When I had my associates search you. That was quick. Think he's dead already? Get your hands off me! I think we could work something out. We are all convinced that Costello has at least one mole inside the Special Investigations Unit. There are parts of my job I can't talk to you about. Man, you are trouble. You don't know the half of it. You better get organized, quick. Hey, last time I checked, I tipped you off, and you're not in jail. Getting the feeling we got a cop in my crew. Soon a lady's gonna find out who I am, and he's gonna kill me. If I can get the rap, you just gotta let me do it my way. If you don't, it won't be me who pays for it. A leak from the inside. It's real, man. Smoke him out. You're lying to me. There are things you don't want to know about. What are you waiting for, honestly? I mean, do you want him to chop me up and feed me to the poor? Is that what you guys want? How's your brother? She's on her way out. You all are. Act accordingly. Yeah, 
confirm. I just want to make sure you're going to be... Video I am not a racist. Fact is, I hate all people equally. You could just stop beating people up. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen anything unusual lately? Not a damn thing. You are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in this bar. <laughs> I gotta go. You have to stay. I can prove that your shooting was dirty, just like I can prove you dirty. You can't just walk in the house like you still live here. You were a dirty cop, and you dirtied all of us up by default. Have you thought about retirement? If you force me to retire, I'll have my own show on Fox News inside one week. You'll be my first guest. Say so you have thought about it. The laws change, the people change, but not you. Why is that? Go home and pack a bag. Save that for the jury. I told her everything. Ah! Oh, yeah, the women and the booze. You gotta let us go. I'll never let you go. No man who ever shoots another man is entirely cogent in the moment. Did you learn that with the first man you killed? You're either lying to me or you're withholding. This is what I do. The only thing that's wrong here is that a camera caught him doing police work. <laughs> They're gonna come and talk to you about this and they're gonna they're gonna tell you what happened. But what they tell you is not really what happened here. I was trying to do a good thing. I was trying to do a good thing. Hey, get this guy from lockup and run him over to Center Street. Did you got some regular mutt that takes care of this? It's a nothing thing. 118 minutes to get a witness 16 blocks. Why are we rushing like this? This is not a good sign. You put the Hawaii 5 old light on and use your police power. Make a hole, make a hole. <laughs> be all right. Be you believe in that? I believe life's too long and guys like you make it even longer. Hey, listen, man, I got an important appointment. Nah, man, it ain't Miller time, man. No, 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 no. I don't know why you stopped, man. Got here as soon as we could. You did a great job. You got a bad guy. Why don't you let us take it from here? The kid was gonna testify. He's selling some business. It's gonna hurt a lot of cops. We just want the kid. All you gotta do is look the other way. This changes everything, Jack. There's about a ton of cops between me and you, and they all want this kid dead. Hey! Why ain't you that cop? Cops. They don't shoot up a cop, especially over nobody like me. Lines were crossed. Get away! That kid is gonna get you killed. Where did you not be with you? People been trying to shoot me. People you know! I am your only friend out here. You don't even know me! Well, I got all day. How about you? You got all day? You dress like a criminal. People can say you say. I'm not gonna make it. Eddie. What? You're killing me. In America, the police are sworn to uphold the law and protect the innocent. But on the streets, it's everyone for themselves. An elite unit in the LAPD. SIS doesn't have a jail, so if you knock one down, make sure he stays down. A loyal brotherhood. I was raised up to be a gunfighter by a family of gunfighters. 
with the tradition of doing anything to get the job done. Listen, I have a mission for you. No one has ever dared to take them on. Until now. I have a few questions for the detective. What's going on, man? I mean, this ain't your style. This is different. My LAPD badge doesn't seem to glow anymore. At the end of the day, the bullets were in the bad guys, not us. I'm going to get their badges. Do you know what you're doing? Declaring war. Be heartless in my line of work. You hide behind LAPD blue. It's not your color, Kurt Russell. I ain't going down. Everything rains. I'll put together a task force and swoop down on them like the Lord's fury. That's my daddy's gun. And the only reason this city's here is because they built it with bullets. Dark blue. It's gonna get ugly before it gets better. How ugly you think it's gonna get for me? you to back me up. My partner, McGavin. New partner. You get them off the street. The lady, we're trying. Our community have kids out there who are dying over colors. I mean, actually dying over red or blue. How old are you? 18. How old are you? 14. You ever go out with a cop? I don't like cops, see you. No. But you're just like them Pac-Man, nothing but a gangster. It's always gonna be gangs, man. There's always gonna be fighting. You can stop it for yourselves, man. Robert Duvall, in a Dennis Hopper film, Colors. Neighbors, though. Yeah, it looks like it. Did you meet them yet? Uh, you want to give people a chance to settle in, you know? I always wanted to say this. We're homeowners. <laughs> give up the wallet, man. Give it up! Welcome to the neighborhood. What? Never roll your window down when somebody does that. <sighs> Scared the hell out of me. Imagine that. I met our new neighbor, Abel Turner. And? He has a very special brand of humor. He's got security lights. Maybe we should put sheets on the windows. Sheets? We need bricks. Your outside lights are shining right into our upstairs. See how that could be annoying? Now I got nothing against you. But I don't need you putting your bedroom scenes out here for my kids to see. Maybe there are some places where that's okay. And maybe that's where you ought to live. You keep saying stuff like, we're not welcome here, we should move. Just stay out of my life. You have a good night, Chris. They're slashed. Did you leave this door open? Did you see anyone? No. I just see you. The man never made an actual threat against your life, and he has the color issue on his side. And that color happens to be blue. Whatever it is about us that bothers you, we gotta figure out a way to deal with this. Or what? I got lights. Okay. Now's the time to get out. They'll be gone before you know it. What the hell are 
you doing? You didn't ask my permission to plant these trees. Come on over. Let's do something. Get off my property. <laughs> Won't call the cops. I'll tell you who's on duty. We're not moving. <laughs> Says who? Take away his job, pension, house. You think you can take whatever you want? Chris, stop it! I'll deal with it. Chris? Good! I'm the police! You have to do what I say! He's trying to kill us! No, no, no. Come on! You guys are lucky. You have a cop living next door. <laughs>